Good afternoon. I'm happy to be back at the Power Electronics Conference for 2020. My name is Peter DiMasso. I'm the Director of Product Line Management at GAN Systems. Today, I'll be talking to you about GAN transistors, high performance, and high reliability. It's too bad we're not doing this in person this year, but this virtual conference is a great alternative, and I'm sure we'll be back together next year live. In today's presentation, I'll give you a GAN Systems introduction. I'll show you the benefits of GAN for the market. We'll look at some high performance products and their applications. And we'll show you how GAN is addressing reliability and how specifically GAN Systems is doing so. GAN Systems is the market leader for GAN power transistors. Our GAN on silicon transistors are specifically focused on the power conversion market. We have the widest portfolio of high performance GAN transistors for both 100 volt and 650 volt families. And these are all enhancement mode devices and they are enabled by technologies such as Island technology and GAN PACS packaging technology. We were founded in 2008 and we have been shipping products since 2014. R&D headquarters are based in Ottawa and our operations headquarters are in Taiwan. We are a fab light organization with world-class partners in fabrication and advanced packaging. We have sales and applications offices throughout the world. GAN Systems was founded in 2008 and we launched our first product in 2014. 2018 and 2019 were production launch years for customers in the renewable energy space, data center, industrial, and consumer adapters. 2020, despite the COVID-19 downturn, was a year of expanded manufacturing as many of our customers moved into high volume production, and we are ready for that for 2020 and beyond. GAN Systems has helped customers move into high volume manufacturing by leading the shift in power electronics to gallium nitride. The figure of merit graph you see, which is the RDS on times the gate charge for various transistor technologies shows how that works. MOSFETs in the early nineties, and then later on superjunction MOSFETs towards the end of the century, and further to silicon carbide at the beginning of, the, of this decade, of the past decade actually, and gallium nitride jumped in halfway through last decade. And you can see a 13 times improvement over the performance of silicon and six times a better performance than silicon carbide. This results in improved performance with four times lower losses, four times smaller due to higher frequencies and lower losses, and four times lighter. All of this enabling an overall cost savings compared to silicon. GAN Systems has been expanding in all of the growth markets, in consumer for adapters and brushless motor DC appliances, in enterprise with the AC to DC and DC to DC stages, very important where 5% of global power usage is, is going today and only growing, in renewable energy where the storage is used to enhance clean energy, this is important for the other global emergency we are undertaking right now. And of course, the value in industrial and electric vehicles is well documented. So GAN adds value in all growth markets. As mentioned earlier, GAN Systems has the widest portfolio of GAN transistors with 100 volt E-mode and 650 volt E-mode transistors. The 650 volt E-mode transistors range from four amps all the way up to 150 amps. Packaging includes GAN packs for very good thermal and low inductance performance, PDFN for very good thermal and lower cost applications, and then our dye products for embedding in modules. Our 100 volt family ranges from 38 amps up to 90 amps today, and that is housed in our high performance GAN packs packaging. We also offer many evaluation kits and reference designs to help our customers get to production early. And they range in the order of tens of watts 
up to tens of kilowatts. 2019 and 2020 has seen the arrival of gallium nitride based chargers and adapters in the marketplace. Why? They offer power densities and efficiencies never seen before. This allows the ability to use one charger for multiple devices. This high volume and broad acceptance indicates the ability of GAN to be low cost. And here we see an example of a high precision application in industrial motor drives. The breakthrough is enabled by using GAN as the power semiconductor. Size reduction allows customers to easily adopt to new requirements without installing a new system. The value of GAN is here validated in these high availability environments where downtime is not tolerated. Earlier this fall, GAN Systems introduced their first family of products for enhanced automotive reliability requirements. Traditional automotive applications only require 8,000 hours of runtime. Electric vehicles have increased that lifetime requirement by over four times. The message we've been hearing from customers is that standard AEC Q101 qualification is not enough. So together with industry leaders, GAN Systems has developed AutoQual Plus, an enhanced test sequence for higher reliability products. Our latest automotive products, the GS-065-060 650 volt 60 amp series of products have been qualified not only to AEC Q101, but also the more stringent AutoQual Plus. These parts have the same printed circuit board footprint as our first generation 650 volt 60 amp products in both the top and bottom cooled versions to make it easy for our customers to migrate to these new products. GAN E-mode transistors have found their way into traditional power modules. Here's an example of a very high current application. This is a 650 volt, 300 amp per phase, three phase GAN based module. It comes with an optimized driver board. This is done using GAN Systems 150 amp, 650 volt E-mode GAN die, and it uses two per switch position to achieve the high current. This is an example of how GAN is addressing the high efficiency and high current requirements of traction inverters and industrial motor drives, traditionally addressed by other technologies. We have another two examples of GAN being used in traditional power modules. The first is a 650 volt, 150 amp half bridge module, which includes an integrated gate drive to form an IPM or an intelligent power module. And the second is a 650 volt, 150 amp full bridge module. And that one has an optimized gate driver board external to the module. In both cases, or in all three cases, if you include the previous example of the module, 150 amp, 650 volt GAN die from GAN systems are used. And this here is another example of how GAN is used to meet high current requirements for the industry. The benefits of gallium nitride in real life applications like this onboard charger are evident. In the transition from silicon to gallium nitride, we get an increase in power density and an increase in efficiency that results in a five times reduction in size and three times reduction in power losses. And this improved efficiency makes the onboard charger smaller, lighter, which improves the range of the electric vehicle or can reduce the battery cost or a combination of both. Automotive OEM, Toyota, and Nagoya University combined to create a fleet of all GAN vehicles. This fleet was developed for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, which unfortunately didn't happen. However, these vehicles are out in the streets of Tokyo today and are being used. The GAN supplied for the traction inverter, the onboard charger, and the DC to DC converter are all from GAN systems. The LEDs are from a different supplier. The benefits and performance of GAN transistors, specifically the higher efficiency, 
the increased power density, and the overall system cost have been well established in recent years. But the question remains, is GAN reliable? And the answer is yes. Why? The industry requires it, and we have been responding. The key elements of reliability include knowing your device failure modes, which requires testing to failure, analyzing those failures, understanding those mechanisms, and implementing failure mode effects analysis and transistor design. And this transistor design has a target of ensuring wear out long after the requirements of the intended application. And qualification testing, of course, builds on the baseline of JEDEC transistor testing, as well as AEC Q101, and implementing enhanced testing, which resulted in the AutoQual Plus that we talked about earlier. And the manufacturing is also key. We have done so by maintaining a high level of process control and applying the right resources to get there. The bathtub curve is taken into account. The early life failure mechanisms, the qualification testing, the extended testing, and then eventually the lifetime testing all contribute to understanding and implementing highly reliable GAN. A holistic approach has been take, taken to fully understand the reliability of GAN. Together with customers and other GAN industry stakeholders, reliability has been well established. Using the key elements of GAN reliability and understanding intended applications has resulted in very accurate lifetime models. Failure rates depend on mission profiles. And here we have an example of a data center power supply fit calculation using acceleration factors and application states. The methodology is to use a combination of the key elements of reliability used to determine acceleration factors and understanding the use in the form of mission profiles. This combination is used to calculate failure in time or fit rate for a given mission profile. Each application state, defined by a given voltage and temperature, has a given failure rate. This failure rate is dependent on the duration of time the voltage and temperature values are at that state. The acceleration factors for voltage and temperature, as determined by the thorough reliability testing previously explained, are used to calculate the fit for a given state of the mission profile. The total time in a given state is taken into account by summing a ratio of the total time in a given state to the total mission profile time. This is used when calculating the overall combined fit rate. The GAN system's results of the calculation for a data center example, in this case, a Bridges totem pole power factor correction and an LLC converter combination is 0.037 or greater than 3 million years of mean time to failure. This is much lower than the industry baseline of less than one fit. The consumption of data, sustainable energy, and optimized e-mobility are driving the need for ever increasing efficiencies, lower losses, increased power density, both by volume and mass, and lower system costs of today's power electronics. GAN EMO transistors are rising to this challenge by enabling these characteristics in today's power electronics designs. Internal analysis, customer information, and industry collaboration confirm that GAN is reliable beyond the requirements of known mission profiles. Today, we have seen several examples of GAN applications already in production that are meeting these needs. There are many more to share, but we, we would need more time to do so. So in conclusion, GAN systems transistors exceed the required value and reliability. And I thank you for your time today.